morning and welcome to Acme Canines Coffee Chat, the place where you learn tips and advice on caring for your canine. Happy August 26th. I'm Laura Pecos and I'm your host for Coffee Chat. Before we get started, uh, I'd like to read a poem. It will kind of set the mood for our topic of today. It's called Rainbow Bridge. Just this side of heaven is a place called Rainbow Bridge. When an animal dies that has been especially close to someone here, that pet goes to Rainbow Bridge. There are meadows and hills for all of our special friends so they can run and play again. There is plenty of food, water and sunshine, and our friends are warm and comfortable. All the animals who have been ill and old are restored to health and vigor. Those who are hurt or maimed are made whole and strong again, just as we remember them in our dreams of days and times when they were on the earth. The animals are happy and content, except for one small thing. They each miss someone very special to them, and that person was left behind. The animals all run and play, but the day comes when one suddenly stops and looks in the distance. His Bright eyes are intent, his eager body quivers. Suddenly he begins to run from the group, flying over the green grass, his legs carrying him faster and faster. You've been spotted, and when you and your special friend finally meet, you cling together in a joyous reunion, never to be parted again. The happy kisses rain upon your face. Your hands again caress the beloved head and you look once more into the trusting eyes of your pet so long gone from your life, but never absent from your heart. Then you cross Rainbow Bridge together. It really does kind of make you tear up. It's a wonderful poem, and it says so much about our relationship between our pets and how we handle the grieving of them. Well, as you can probably guess, today's topic is about when to say goodbye. As a synologist, I know not only taught dog owners about dog behavior, but I helped them make the decision when it was time to say goodbye and also counseled them through the grieving process. Uh, in fact, I've written quite a few articles on the topic, which you can find on, on Spike's dog blog by Acme Canine. You know, no matter how long a pet lives with us, the time is never going to be enough. And we never really realize the strength of our attachment with our pets until they're gone. Quality of life issues bring most clients to me and they want to talk about euthanasia. Um, usually they rely on me to pretty much reinforce their decision and affirm that it is the time to let their pet go. I have found loving pet owners usually have recognized that their dog is suffering, but uh, guilt often weighs very heavy on making that decision and so it's very and it's very rare that the whole family agrees upon it as well but please do your your dog a favor when you see it in their eyes that the time has come please please don't wait fortunately during my time hosting KSCO pet radio I met a wonderful veterinary oncologist by the name of Alice Villalobos her work focuses primarily on the palliative care for geriatric canines and feline cancer patients. She's even wrote a book on the topic called Canine and Feline Geriatric Oncology, an excellent book, by the way, and you can get it on Amazon or on Wiley. Um, they also have a section on, on her, uh, her website called Pospice, very much a hospice for, for dogs and cats, and that's, uh, I, that's right here you can see. So one of the things that uh, Dr. Alice created was a quality of life scale. And I, I really felt that this is something that everyone should know about, especially when you have an older pet or a pet that you have to make a decision with. This gives you a, a way to determine how your, your animal is actually doing and if it is time that maybe we'll let him go. The, you score your patients on a scale of zero to 10 with 10 being absolutely wonderful. Um, I'm gonna, as you can see here, uh, it, it rates a lot of things. You know, how is the animal feeling? Is it hurt? Um, is it eating well? Another thing to think about. 
hydration. How much is your, your dog drinking? Many times they, they, they get a little senile and forget to drink and you have to come up ways to kind of keep them hydrated. Hygiene. Are they taking care of themselves? Many times cats stop grooming themselves. Dogs, maybe they get a little dirty. So you need to kind of keep up with this. Happiness is a big one. Are they depressed? Is that the quality of life that you want for your, your pet if they're depressed all the time or lonely? Um, mobility is another one. Are they getting there around? I mean, there's many, many pieces of equipment now to help with this, but Sometimes mobility is, is a real problem if, if they want to go up and down the stairs following you all the time and, and that's a part of their life that they really enjoy and they can't do it any longer. A big one is, are they having more good days than bad days? You know, when bad days outnumber the good days, quality of life is probably compromised. You know, a healthy human-animal relationship relies on an interaction and you know that you want the dog to be happy well the decision for euthanasia might be the thing to do if they are having more bad days so you total up the points and about 35 points represents a acceptable quality of life it starts getting a little bit lower start it's time to really start thinking it's best for your pet maybe not best for you but best for your pet to let them go what I like about this scale is that it takes the emotion out of your decision and it focuses almost totally on the physical needs of your dogs. It makes it so much easier to make the right decision at that point. You know, whether you've lost your canine companion last week, last year, or even years ago, their memory is surely alive in your heart. Um, and sometimes people in your life that don't have pets, they don't understand. And, and you know that that grief is very, very strong and deep. And, and it's almost like losing a human loved one. And you may feel guilty about it, but please don't, because they do touch your hearts and they do interact with you. So there's nothing wrong with grieving over a lost pet. And author Deborah Barnes noticed this and decided to start a Rainbow Bridge Remembrance Day to give all pet owners a day to share memories of their beloved pets that have crossed Rainbow Bridge. Actually, the event is going to be this Saturday, August 28th. And it's, it's a time to just celebrate the unconditional love that your dog had given you, celebrate their life and the memories and laughs, laughs that you, you got with them and all the wonderful, wonderful things that, that happened and how they helped you through your life. Now, to, to help commemorate those canine companions, the Acme Canine um, get, did some thinking, and, and there's a variety of ways. I mean, there's, there's places online you can get, put their ashes and make them into a bracelet or a necklace. There's all sorts of things. So we kind of came up with some other things that might not cost as much, and, um, but still might have quite a bit of meaning for you. So to help you commemorate your canine best friends who have left, we've kind of gathered up some different memorials and unusual tributes to them. One of the things is, especially with this Saturday coming up, change your profile picture to put your favorite photo of your pet on. Um, it could be on Instagram, Twitter, you know, wherever. I mean, just temporary ch and change it. And um, it kind of opens up the conversation with others. And you can maybe share some memories that you want about your, your departed animal. If you don't have a favorite photo, you can also use the Rainbow Bridge Remembrance Day logo. And that'll be a way to share the day with others and, and help them to understand that you are grieving and thinking about your, your dog. Uh, a great book that I, I learned about is Griffin's Heart. It's, it's like a diary, but it helps you through grieving, but it's a, also a wonderful, wonderful remembrance of your, your dog. Uh, you can write down little events that you remember. It's, it's a way to kind of, um, kind of spark your memory so that you come up with all the wonderful things that happened in your life with, with your, other, your pet. Um, you can also go on Facebook. The uh, Rainbow Bridge Remembrance Day has a hashtag, which is, you know, hashtag Rainbow Bridge Remembrance Day. And they will gather them up so you can go there and then see, you know, if every year you do this, you can kind of read the memories that you've had of your dog and, and kind of keep up with it too. So it's a nice place for that. Um, 
And also they put on, uh, for this Saturday, a special Facebook page where you can honor your dog however you want. Text, photos, videos, it's just open to you to just express yourself and share the loving memories that you have. Say you don't want to use social media, well, a nice thing you could do is um, use your dog's bowls and make them into planters. And that way you can walk past and, and just kind of smile whenever you see these colorful plants. They might cheer you up a little bit. We took um, a regular flower pot and wrapped Spike's collar around it. And it's, it's been a wonderful way to remember him. I mean, he's a little bit of an unusual dog and uh, it, it just kind of makes, makes us smile when we see it. You can have a memorial ceremony. This past June, uh, several trainers got together and they, they wanted to come up with some sort of special service. And, um, and it kind of united all the trainers ar around the nation and the world pretty much. And they, they used different things that came from different religions and created their own ceremony and wrote messages to their pets, burned them and let them go up into the sky. Very, very touching. That is on um, the Spike's Dog Blog with Acme Canine. You can, you can look that up and maybe have your own memorial service for your pet. Also, check our website. Uh, we have a, a lot of great ideas. There's pictures you can get done, done. You know, there's so many companies, all kinds of things. So check out our, our online store and, and uh, see maybe there might be something there to, to help you uh, remember your, your dog in a wonderful way. It was very emotional for me. So for now, I wish you, you and your dogs a very happy Thursday. And we're going to end the show with my canine companions who have crossed over to Rainbow Bridge. All the best. Thank you.